This medication is called Ganarelix. Some patients may do this medication, some patients may not do this medication. If you do not see this on your medication calendar, you can actually skip to the next medication. As for the Ganarelix, this medication is packaged somewhat differently than how we do use it here at the Share Institute. So it's important for you to know that one box of this medication will actually last you for two days. The first thing you need to learn to do is how to split the medication into two parts. So you'll open up the box and remove the pre-filled syringe. So what you need to do is open up the packaging and pull out the syringe. Now as you can see, there is no measuring on the syringe. That's why we need you to split it into a different syringe. We've ordered one milliliter syringes for you. So you'll need for every pre-filled syringe, you're gonna need to pull out two syringes and two 27 gauge needles. The first thing you'll want to do is open both of your syringes and lay them in front of you. The next thing you'll want to do is open up both of the needles, but do not apply the needles to the actual syringes. Okay, now that I have everything prepared to go, I'm going to take the pre-filled syringe and flick it a few times to get that air bubble to the very top. Then you're going to remove the cap and you're going to take a one ml syringe and you wanna pull the plunger all the way to the end without pulling it out. You're gonna take the pre-filled syringe with the needle and you're gonna actually put the needle inside the hole of the empty syringe. So just like so. Then push the medication, all of the medication into this syringe. This is going to allow you to be able to measure how much of the dosage that you're going to receive. The next step is once you get the medication into the syringe is to flick it with your fingernails and try to get all the bubbles to the top. Sometimes, as you can see, this takes a few seconds. Then what you'll do is take your needle and apply the needle to this syringe. And it just actually pushes right on. Now what you'll do is actually push up to get all the air out of the syringe. And as you can see, you'll probably get about 0.5 mLs once you do that. Now the next step is we need to divide this into half. So half of 0.5 will actually be 0.25. So it's the middle line between the 0.2 and the 0.3. You'll take the next syringe. Again, you want to pull back on the plunger all the way without pulling it out. You're now going to take the cap off of this syringe without removing the needle, like so. And you're gonna do the same step again. You're going to take this needle and inject it into the hole of the empty syringe. And now, utilizing the numbers on the syringe, you can kind of put everything together and hold the needle. The 0.5, you wanna push it until it says 0.25. So you'll just push the syringe until it goes to that mark. Now you can take this syringe and utilize it for today's dose. And as far as your second syringe, again, you'll need to flick it to get the air out to the top, actually. And then you'll go ahead and apply your needle, push the air out, and this dose will be ready for tomorrow. 
Now you will notice whenever you do the medication and you're splitting it, that the second syringe may have a little less medication in it. Sometimes you'll get 0.2. It's fine as long as you're taking both doses, you're getting enough of the medication. What this medication does is actually helps to prevent you from ovulating, so it's real important that you take um, both doses. And then this medication will be given sub-Q, so again, you can put it in your lower belly or you can put it in your thigh. Once you've split the medication, it does not need to be stored in the refrigerator, you can just go ahead and put it back in the box and just save it for tomorrow's dose.